In this video, I will show you how to clear system storage on your Android phone the right way. Do you find yourself often deleting apps upon apps, files upon files just to free up some space on your Android phone, but all to no avail? You are not alone in this as many struggle with this very issue daily on their Android phones. Alright, but if you are watching this video, it means you are in luck because I am going to show you exactly what works once and for all. If you are new to the channel, kindly smash that subscribe button, like the video and share it. Thanks for your support right so before i show you how to fix this thing here is a quick one you can't really delete your system storage all right and the truth is that you don't have to all you just need to do is to find and clear that junk files that have accumulated over time from the applications that you use frequently all right so that is exactly what i'm going to show you in this video so all you just need to do is to watch till the very end to see how i do this all right let's go ahead and fix this thing right so the very first method is clearing the catch app by app all right which you can do by going to your settings then ahead to your apps all right then from there um, select the very applications that you use more frequently then delete the catch all right i already made video on this previously so you can check it out on your screen to see a detailed instruction on how to do that all right so for the second method all right which is clearing all the app catches at once all right so this involves clearing the catches for all the applications on your phone all at once so to do that simply head back to your settings app so i'm going to drag down my notification panel then head to this gear icon and here on the menu i'm going to scroll all the way down then find battery and device care right for you it might be labeled differently but if you are struggling to find this you can simply use this um, search button right here all right you can type in storage battery or whatever all right so for me i'm going to go ahead and open it up so once it's open come to storage then select it and once it's open scroll down to till you see app catch right so this app catch under it you can see the app catch size right right here so i'm going to select it and it will bring me here so here are all the applications on this very device that i can clear the catches right but i'm not going to do it individually all right so i'm going to select all then clear catch right here so it's deleting all right so once the catches are cleared i'll be able to regain some space on my device all right so that is done all right so now some space has been freed on this very device so i can then go ahead and do whatever i want all right so you go ahead and do this you would see how much space you'll be able to regain on your device all right so now for the third method which is factory resetting your and Android phone right is something you don't want to do if you're not ready for it and I recommend you go for this only when you've tried other methods and you didn't see any result all right so to factory reset your phone simply hit account and backup right so what I'm trying to do here first is to back up my data on the phone I want to back it up so that when I reset this phone I don't lose any of my data right factory resetting your phone simply means you are going to wipe clean every single data you have on your device right everything is going to be deleted permanently so but if you back it up before doing the resetting you won't lose any of your data so that is the essence of backing up your data right so to do that you can just come to your google drive then tap on backup data right just tap on this backup now and You'll be able to back up photos and videos then other device data all right so once that is done you can then go ahead and reset all right you can also back up to samsung cloud right here if you have an account with samsung you can go ahead and back up to samsung cloud then another way you can also back up is backing up to external drive all right so you can just go ahead and do that as well so once that is done then you can go ahead and reset right here so i'm going to tap on this and scroll down till you find this factory data reset all right so right here is a kind of um, breakdown all right of all the data that will be deleted so after you factory reset your phone right here you can see google the system app data settings downloaded apps music and all of this will be deleted after you've done a factory reset on your android 
Android phone, all right? So once you are sure you're good to go, go ahead and reset, all right? So I can then go ahead and reset. So guys, on this note, I'll be wrapping it up, all right? If this video was valuable to you, if it helped you, kindly go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video, and share with your friends. You can also go ahead and explore that videos on the channel, right? There are other videos you would like on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.